a lot can happen in a week. Wow. A lot can happen. Welcome to Adventures of Deanna. I am Deanna, here to give you my weekly weight loss report and talk about the podcast, Losing 100 Pounds with Corinne Crabtree. Let's get into it. This week was episode 153, Why Do You Want to Lose Weight? There's lots of talk in this uh, podcast this week. Boils down to, why do you want to lose weight? The reasons why I want to lose weight. Now, before I talk about those, Corinne was saying that we need to have about a thousand reasons why we want to lose weight. Can you imagine having a thousand reasons why you want to lose weight? How many reasons why do you have to lose weight? A thousand. That's a lot. One thing that she talked about was that you may have a primary why, and then that primary why has like secondary whys underneath it my whys why I want to lose weight I want to be able to travel I want to be able to wear cute costume clothes cute shoes don't hurt my feet I want to be able to walk long distances I want to live longer I want to feel comfortable riding in a plane I don't want to worry about if I fit in the roller coaster seat I don't want to think about are there weight restrictions I want to fit in the booth I want to be able to wear skirts without shorts underneath those are just some of the reasons why I want to lose weight. I'm sure that there are more reasons why I want to lose weight, but those are some of the, you know, granular ones. I'm going to work up to this thousand. So what she suggests is that you just get a little journal, and then when you think of a why, why you want to lose weight, you just put that in that journal, and then you have that all those reasons to go back to, to anchor yourself to why it is that we're going through this process. Because it's a process of self-discovery. We're trying to look at ourselves and figure out why it is that we, you know, overeat, emotionally eat, eat things that might not be the best for us, whatever it may be. So share with me below what it is. What is your why for losing weight? Why is it that you want to lose weight? Why are you on a weight loss adventure? Share it down below in the comments. What a difference a week can make. Last week I was talking about emotional eating. Um, before that, I was talking about routines, and now we have craziness going on and, you know, a lot of reasons to emotionally eat, a lot of anxiety going on, stress, worry, and then we have routines that are completely thrown all around. So, really amping up the challenges that we are facing right now. Um, so, a, what a difference a week can make. You know, this past week, every week, Corinne comes on and she does a Facebook Live. The Facebook Lives are on Wednesday, so if you're checking out her Corinne Crabtree Fit and Fat, I believe is the page, if you check that out, she does a Facebook Live on Wednesday, and then it shows up in your podcast playlist. It shows up on Saturday, so I caught it live on Wednesday, and I really felt this week that she was talking to me because she was talking about how we celebrate... Um, weight loss when we step on the scale. What are those thoughts that are going on in your head whenever you step on the scale? When we step on that scale, it can go up, it can go down, or it can stay the same. Regardless, we always have self-talk. There's always an inner dialogue that is happening. Yay, you did great. Boo, that's just terrible. Why did the scale say that? These are all things, different inner dialogues that we have. And there's a million and one different things that we could be saying to ourselves whenever we step on the scale. I, for one, can talk about myself here, my channel. Um, I, whenever the scale goes in a positive number, I do do this like, ooh, well maybe I can have some extra bites, time to party. Let's celebrate that. And how do I want to celebrate it? With more food. So that's not great. And then whenever I have a gain or I say the same, then I have an inner dialogue that's not so pleasant towards myself. I kind of want to beat myself up. You should have done that. You could have done this. You could have eaten better. Your choices are terrible. You're a terrible person. All kinds of weird, stupid things that, you know, I can say to myself whenever the scale doesn't report how I want it to. So she 
in her Facebook Live really addresses these types of things that we do. And I think that everyone can relate to having that inner self dialogue whenever you step on the scale. And she's encouraging us to take a look at the actions of the week and not the result on the scale. So before you even step on the scale, assess the week that you have had and think about it without even knowing the numbers, without even knowing what the result on the scale is. Think about the week that you had and what is it you think that you did well? What would you keep? What would you stop doing? What would you change? How would you move forward with the next week based only on what you see on paper, based on following the four basics, where you're drinking your water, following your plan, making your plans, assessing your plans, all of the things. If you just look at that data before you even step on the scale, you probably know the results of what the scale is going to do. You probably already know what it is you need to do the next week. So sometimes we give that scale so much credit, so much power, so much whatever, whenever it doesn't deserve it. We deserve it because we're the ones that did that work. We did the actions and we're not coming back and celebrating ourselves saying, yes, how awesome that you really worked to get that water in. I know it was really difficult this week for whatever reason it might be. Or great job in making those choices or awesome follow through on following your plans. Whatever it is, we need to celebrate ourselves in that way. We need to pat our backs in that way. So, given that, it is time for the weekly weight loss report, which is awesome. Last week I weighed in at 240.2, and this week I weighed in at 238.4. So, yes, a loss. Oh, thank you, my subscribers who believed in me and said that I was going to have a loss this week. Thank you. Um, I need to go back and I need to look at my week and I need to celebrate what I did right. So there were a few things that I did do right. I made a 24 hour plan six out of the seven days. Yeah, I could have made one seven out of seven, but I made one six out of seven. So that's very good. I got all my water in seven out of seven. I did self-development or worked out seven out of seven days. And then there are a few things that weren't so great. I, um, as far as following my plans, I only followed my plan two out of seven days this week. I assessed my plan five out of seven days. Um, sleep was only five out of seven, which is so unusual for me. I normally get seven hours of sleep a night, every single night. Um, and following my hunger scale, five out of seven. So. All in all, 37 out of 49, which is a 75% for the week for doing all the things on my habit tracker. I'm quite pleased. I was, you know, really sitting there and I was struggling, getting gaining. Oh, not even just staying the same. There was those gains those weeks. So uh, I was having a hard time with that. And when I look at my data, it doesn't look like, you know, I really, you know, 75%. It doesn't sound like I really, 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 really deserved that great of a gain. What is that? 238, 239.4. So that's a pound and a half that I lost this week. Um, and I feel good about it. Well, I want to thank you very much for watching this week. If you are new here and you would like to get caught up on my adventure, these are some great videos. Um, that I suggest. If you like this content, go ahead and click that like button, uh, subscribe so you can get my weekly weight loss reports. This is Deanna. I'll see you next week. It's going to be an adventure. <laughs>